Mega Sugarcane Farm, Flying Bamboo Machine of Doom, Creeper Factory, Crushing Wither Skeleton Machine, Raid Farm, Bart, Cobblestone Generators, Stone Generators, Witch Farms, 10,000 Diamond Counters. I've built some pretty cool machines in my days of playing Minecraft, but none of them. None of them comes close to being as important and fancy as the one I'm about to make. I present to you the Cupcake Dispenser. <laughs> it's brilliant! Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Vault Hunters. Tomorrow we are recording the Hapa event and that gives me approximately 24 hours to prepare. Ooh, a knowledge star. I actually don't think I'm gonna buy that. And there are a few things that I want to prepare. <laughs> First of all, remember there are no rules. As in trolling is incentivized. And I have got an idea. I'm gonna need my camera and I'm gonna need paper and a few of these image frames. And I do have this old vault crystal, so let's take that and then take my my things off me. And let's uh, let's let's go into a vault. Oh, it's a scav. I I'm not I'm not intending to run this vault. I just need to go behind the portal to this right here. And then what I want to do is try and take a picture of this. I don't know if this is going to work, but with a bit of cutting, let's see. <laughs> this will never work. <laughs> Hold on. I might have to do this in another way, but... What happens if I now block up an entrance and then do this and put this in? <laughs> Wait, that's pretty good! That's pretty good, actually! <laughs> I mean, you can definitely tell that it's, that it's a fake if you walk all the way up, but from here it totally looks legit. I would fall for that. Right? I, I would I would think that's that's a block. <laughs> oh, that is that is that's evil. That's <laughs> Wait, which one is the oh that's the fake one. So it's a little bit darker there, isn't it? Wait, let me try and brighten that up a tiny bit. They look the same. Honestly, that's so similar. I think that's good enough though. I I would totally get fooled by that. <laughs> I mean, look, you can see on the minimap that the thing continues, but in the heat of the moment, in the speed and everything that's going on, I, uh, oh no, I brought my, my overworld pickaxe in. In the heat of the moment, I think that that is, um, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna trick someone. That's absolutely gonna trick someone. <laughs> I think I can make copies of this. Can I? Yes. Is that a copy? That is a copy. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> uh, this is this is uh, this is sinister. <laughs> Hello, wait, uh, can you hear me? <laughs> Do you want to see the best thing in the world? <laughs> huh? cupcake. The cu cupcake. That, that's what you're showing me. The cupcake. Yeah, you, like you don't seem impressed. How about this? You're adding cupcake vaults to, to go along <laughs> with the cake vaults. <laughs> maybe, uh, the, maybe that's the change. <laughs> that's the big change that's, that you've been talking about, right? That cupcake is, vaults. <laughs> we get the 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 mini vaults. You have to crawl. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. You have to crawl and look for cupcakes instead. <laughs> oh, that's stupid, Ito. Now look at my cupcake dispenser, though. Are you not impressed? I gotta go, Ice Cube. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. It's a button. Can't impress everyone. Got a buffer. Wow, you put a lot of work into this. It was it was effort. Yeah, definitely. Wow. It's a big boy machine. Get out of my office, Ito. Get, you know, if you don't appreciate it, get out of my face. Get out. What can I say? What can I say? You know, it's... Uh, no, yeah. get, get, just jump down. There you go. Bye, Ethel. Bye. Bye.
What's happening? No! Mumble! I, th I think I killed him! But I think I killed him with frostbite! Oh no! Oh, that's so sad! That's so very sad! Did I kill I'm shocked! Did I just kill him with this? Oh! Mumble! No! This is bad. This is the next day. In just a few hours, we are doing the Habba event. I ended up having connection issues. I kept getting booted from the server. I was trying to run vaults. I mean, I did I get a little bit of experience. I think I got, uh, well, a full level. But look at the others. Look at Ito. Look at Wild Knight. They, they're leveling up. The good news is, is that there are still a few hours left. And I have this. This is a lost bounty. And usually... These give quite a lot of experience. Let's first claim this. That is a little bit of experience. And then hand this in. And... Oh, that's a Chaos Catalyst. 31,000 experience to complete a scav. That's almost a third of the level required. Okay, let's, let's do this. There is really no time to waste. And this will be a good practice. And actually, this is a really good time to see just how efficient Hunter at level 7 will be. Let's see how fast I can complete this scav. Ooh, Looter's Dream is not bad, so no trapped chests. I start the diver. Right off the bat, I see Gilded. Okay, not to sell. Don't forget to turn on the magnet. Oh, I didn't get a single one there. No! I am taking a lot of damage from some of these guys. But it makes me realize that mobs can absolutely be used to one's advantage in the real event. It all just depends on how sinister one wants to be, I guess. Do I like go full in? Full in just, you know, letting letting mobs out on people? Or I don't, I don't know if I have the heart to do that, to be honest. I don't know if I can do that. It's a little bit mean. But on the contrary, it is a competition and... It would be very efficient. Let's see, one room in, and I got three drowned hides. That was lucky. I got one scroll, two of the three books, and three of the purple mob essence. That's all of the books I'll ever need. Ooh. I mean, I won't do that in the competition, but that is the one that I have a charm for at the moment. Is this a secret? Yes. Oh, come on. Two spider soul charms. Earrings? This is silly. <laughs> this is very silly. Is that it? I got one I got one red scroll in that entire array of chests. Must resist the ornates. But then again, now I've killed all the mobs because I need the purple things. I might just as well loot these, right? Oh, look at this. This is living chests. Is this worth it? Yeah, I think this might be worth it because the chests are pretty accessible. Zombie brain, come on. Are you kidding me? Where is my drowned hide? This is cursed. This is cursed. Zombie arm. I haven't got a single one yet. Note to self. Do not randomly roll drowned hide. Oh, this is silly. This is really silly. Stop. That's one. That's a creeper, right? That's a creeper! <laughs> I should have known. I need two more. This is ridiculous. That's another one. Come on, just one more. No. Yes, yes. Okay, I got it. Now I just gotta find my way, I think, is this way. Yes. Okay, so at this time, I can now spec into Gilded. And with that, I should be golden. I need... Four, I have four. I need, I need one more. Only one more scroll. And that is two gilded chests and three upstairs. Nice. So this is a perfect example of where I would probably have missed these gilded chests. Because they're all hidden. Goblet. <laughs> Classic. There wasn't any scroll there. Yay! I also did that. Oh, I got a favor! Yes, I got a favor from the god challenge! Did I get a scroll though? Is the big question. I did... Not. But look at the cooldown. I can do it in the next room as well. 
Come on. Yes, that's my scroll. I am hopefully done. Am I done with purple? I am. Perfect. So I've done it in 13 minutes. That's not bad. I mean, granted, this was not the most difficult roll ever. But that is not bad. And in fact, now that I know that, I'm going to check this dungeon out. Normal. Oh, this one is tricky. It's only coins. Maybe I'll just skip this for now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm out. Goodbye. Just going to pick up a little bit of chests around this corner. <laughs> Too <Dude>, round tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's so typical. So in this specific scenario, it was actually not worth going down in the living room. But that's going to be very different in the competition. Okay. Oh. No, I'm not going to have time to kill this guy. Please die. Yes. Woo. I know it says 14 minutes here, but that was because I, I stayed and looted those extra chests. So 13 minutes was what that took. And... Any cheeky artifacts? Nope, it doesn't look like it. Let's hand this in and... Oh, I didn't actually do the other one. Oops. Well, I'm very close to level 59. I do definitely believe that Hunter is going to be very valuable. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat some burgers. That's level 59 and then let's eat 10 at once. That's only half a level. Okay. I really want to be level 60. There we go. Because then I can max Hunter, giving it a cooldown of 25 seconds. And then I might just take another level in Dash, giving that slightly lower cooldown as well. Right, next up on the preparation list is gear. And the biggest upgrade potential I believe I have on my helmet. My dear trash can might get binned. You see, I've been looking in between episodes for a helmet with lucky hit chance on the implicit. And I have not got lucky. I haven't found a single one despite re-rolling a lot of fundamental focuses on different helmets that I found. So, I've come to the conclusion that I think I want to craft. <laughs> I think I want to craft a bunch of helmets. Which requires me to have gold netherite ingots and vault alloy. I do have 76 netherite ingots. Those early bounties that gave me these definitely pays off. As far as the vault alloy goes, I... Let's see how many I can craft. Oh, wow. Is that all the vault scrap I have? I mean, I have been smelting down a lot to get soul shards, but... Oh, no, I have more. I should really hook up Sir Scrap a lot to my computer system. And two of these becomes one vault alloy. Nice. And I need nine per craft. I'll just, just do as much as I can here. And these go in here. Now, crafting in vault hunters makes you better at it. The more helmets I craft, the better my proficiency gets. The first one I ever craft will be a beginner roll. And then eventually, if I craft enough of these, I will get to the next level. Did I get there? Yes. Now I'm a novice. I mean, it's still not great, but I'm getting there. Now the roll thing here makes the output be better and better. So eventually when you're master crafting, you're going to roll a lot of epics and omegas. Oh, I actually got a, I got a rare. But it doesn't have lucky hit chance. Did I get any with lucky hit chance? I did not. <laughs> I did get two rares though. Let's put the potentials in this here chest. And then recycle the rest. And then craft more. I got to the next level yet? Nope. I'm also going to move this thing to here. I got another rare. But... Oh! That's a lucky hit one. Yes! It's just common though, but my current helmet is also just common, so that is at least an upgrade. Oh, that's an epic though! Yes! Doesn't have lucky hit, but it is an epic. Unfortunately, I've only got one fundamental focus. Can I get lucky? Ah, still very good though. Still very, very good, but not what I'm looking for. <laughs> now I'm out of old scrap for real this time. <laughs> this is why recycling is really good in the long run wait did i just get to the next level yay i'm a maker at 8.7 percent and i'm out of resources okay please please get lucky you can see the maker ones are now higher tier i don't think they can be scrappy anymore i've become better than scrappy these are all my novice crafts that's another epic but no lucky hit oh that's a lucky hit but that's a common and also a bad roll. Yeah, there are lots of rares now in these crafting results. But none of them had lucky hits. 
Ah, oh, there is one other way of making vault alloy, and that is using vault ingots. These things. Problem is, is that I have smelted down a lot of these. Oh, that's not how I make it. Oh, I still need the chromatic iron though, because I still need to do that. Yes, okay. I mean, I might just as well maximize my resources, right? Let's see. Yes, there it is! There it is! A beautiful crown, a rare lucky hit helmet. Oh, that's brilliant. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of good hats in here, but this, this is the one I want. And the armor roll is not bad either. Let's make it better. Oh, look at that. 11% resistance and 17% mana. And because it's a higher level helmet, I can craft on higher cooldown reduction, which, yeah, I mean, that's a no-brainer. Yes, 11. So as a trash man, I had 82% defense, and as a king, I have 84% defense. Not that I care too much about the defense, I'm more interested in the extra mana, and that percentage mana works really well with my mana steel build. I'm now up to a total of 320, actually, 274 to 320 mana. Now the other pressing thing is my boots. <laughs> These are about to die, they've been repaired twice, and they don't have that much durability left. I don't think they will last throughout the event. The problem is, is that finding boots with 10% movement speed is difficult. And I honestly don't know if I have any options. I can't craft anything more because I am, I am completely out of resources. But I could plunder. Although, <laughs> I need 15 of these. Create, can create these. But there might be a faster way. Hello there. <laughs> this is so cursed. I can't actually use my hammer here. No. Hydroboard is great, but <laughs> for this specific application, it's not the best. Oh, hello there, sir. <laughs> Did I one shot him? <laughs> Sorry. 22 lanterns, that should be enough. Oh, and I got some prism. Wait, do I get these from killing the guardian fishes? I think I do. I do! Okay. Uh, that means that I absolutely need to find a guardian egg for Pacific Labs. Anyway, time to go home. As I was saying, I could plunder. Plunder or nates after I repair my machete. I'm gonna be super focused. Oh, and then it's a blood moon vault. Vault Hunters is a bit like that. It's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. And it's a scav. I gotta stay true to the course though. Ornates is what I want. No, I brought my MC hammer in and my back soul. Oh, I hate when I do this. Please drop me some boots. Chest plates, that's not boots. Oh, there's the wizard wand. <laughs> no shoes, though. Oh, X mark, you say? This could be great. Or not. <laughs> it could also be terrible. I'm sorry, MC Hammer. Ooh, trinket. Oh. Uh, gotta stay focused, but just a little run. To be fair, it does cost gold to roll gear, right? Copium. <laughs> and champions can drop food. Magnet. Is that is that three champion spiders? Oh, that's a bounty complete. <laughs> I think that is three champion spiders. That's uh, I, I see three boots potentially. Helmet. The axe, and maybe it wasn't three, maybe it was only two. Okay, I think that's my cue. I've got a bit of gold. Let's go back to ornate. Oh, oh, piece of candy. I mean, while in Rome. Ooh, don't die now. This is not great. This is not great. Okay, uh really like those extra two red scrolls, but I, I only got two. I got three spider soul charms though. Classic. As I was saying, ornates. That could be an ornate dungeon. Uh, no, he, he was living.
I'm not having much luck with finding ornate at the moment, but the good news is, is that shoes can also exist in completion crates. And I'm pretty sure that I have got everything I need. Yes, yes I do. Okay, so now I can fully agree and expect a pair of Omega Legendary Super Shoes of Doom in the crate. GG, that crate better contain the super boots I asked for. I don't think I did quite as many ornate as I was hoping for. Ah, uh, 70? 70 is not bad. 70 and completing the objective feels decent. Let's see, any shoes? Oh, there are, there are actually rare plus boots there and I don't think, I don't think that I found a single pair in the vault. Let's see. Oh no, I did. There was definitely rare plus boots in the crate though. I did, go, I did get quite a few boots. And of course, not to forget the trinket. If I get the anchor, I might consider trying that strat. Oh, that's the burger. That's the level up one. It's not bad at all. It's, it's good to have for sure. Specifically now that we're getting into the tougher levels to reach. Does any of these boots... I'm going to put the rare ones over here. <laughs> that's the crate boots. Does any of these boots meet the requirement? Nope. 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 I mean, look, these are very good. Really good implicits, but I feel like I really want that movement speed. However, I also managed to find two fundamental focuses. So, there's a tiny chance. Nope. 3%. Really? Ah, <sighs> I mean, that's gonna be half, that's gonna have to be it. Because my boots are definitely not surviving the event. Oh, that's good. 10%? Uh, I'll stop there. Look, they're not, they're not necessarily better than the ones I had. But I have no other choice. Ooh, an Omega Sword. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> might save it though for a day where I get some fundamental focuses. And that might very well be an upgraded chest plate. That's probably great. I do really love Poison Avoidance. Uh, I quite like this Emperor King look. Tool time. I am excited about this and it has been time for a little while to make a new chest breaker. The most important thing with a chest breaker after level 50 is that there are strong boxes. And strong boxes break faster with mining speed, which which this one doesn't have. So, oh, thank goodness. I'd already prepared some vault alloy for this. I have unlocked new tools at level 50, but they do require vault alloy. I am definitely going to need or want a new sickle base. These have 250 capacity. My goal with this is to get as much trap disarm, as much item quantity and rarity, as much durability and mining speed as possible. Pretty much all of the things as high as possible. And of course, combo jewels like this one is absolutely great. This at size 16 is also very good. Oh, look at this one. That's such a good jewel. A bit of puzzling later. It's not the best thing I've ever seen, but 100% trap disarm and a very healthy amount of mining speed, quantity and rarity. I think I'm happy with this. Now to replace my Paxel. Pretty much the same thing goes here. Trap disarm is going to be great and item quantity, rarity. But here, mining speed is maybe a little bit more prioritized. And this, <laughs> this is a jewel and a half. And it seems like I have all of the affinities I need, like picking, shoveling and axing. So I could make another sickle base, which is going to turn this into, yes, a reaper. It can pick, chop, Shovel and reap, as in break, <laughs> break leaves. <laughs> After a bunch more puzzling, this is where I'm at. Look at that 92% trap disarm. And I have an 8 here, which I could put in and reach 100, but this is size 11, which is annoying because that means that I cannot put anything else on. Whereas if I would have a size 10 trap disarm, <laughs> with eight size, then I could fit an entire new jewel on here. The only problem is, is that I have crafted up 600 Vutari gems. 
I'm completely out of resources. On the contrary, it would be really nice to get it done now. So, I mean, it's still an upgrade. 12 extra mining speed, more durability, a little bit less quantity. That's, that's annoying. But 100% trap disarm is goodbye traps. I have got my new tools. Well, I, I didn't make a new hammer because I feel like this shatterer is really quite good still. I look like a tank. Are these the same set, all of these? No, but the leggings and the chest plates are. I, I look, I look great. Actually, there's one thing I can do, and that is to represent my scallium. Let's put these tools to the test. Here we go. Oh, that was so much faster. That felt very impressive for the, for the strong box. And apparently, this first room has a lot of ornate chests. Just the knowledge to not be able to get any traps is amazing. Hello! Feels about the same for wooden chest. It doesn't feel that much of a difference with the with the mining speed, but the idea of not getting traps is just it's just the best. It just feels absolutely great. And here's another strong box. Yeah, that is a massive improvement. That's gonna help out loads. I just realized maybe not so much in the hub event because it would probably not be a level 50 vault we're running, but in general. Hold on. That is a Gorgian Eye Treasure Door, which is important because uh, I know the stress monster spent all day today looking for a Gorgian Eye Treasure Door. Let me, let me message her. Hopefully she's home and can join. Yes, here she comes. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. I am in group stress. <laughs> Hermits? Hermits helping Hermits! Hello? Stress? Hello! <laughs> I know your struggles today! <laughs> yeah, it's been awful! Hang on, I need to make sure that I have everything! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm on my way! <laughs> <laughs> it's in the first room as well, downstairs! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Okay. Oh, Here oh. she comes! Plops <laughs> in! <laughs> I'm here! Welcome oh. to my humble abode. And you waited here. I'm sorry, your vault's just got ruined. Oh, no, I'm I'm, I'm fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Oh, my Look God, that. Look at Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. I need to screenshot this just for proof. It has been... <laughs> Serve it then. Oh, thank you. It's Carl. It. Man. <laughs> thank you so much. I know, stress that you're backlogging a bit. Yes. So, I'm gonna, before you open that door. <laughs> yeah. I, I, let's leave the call so that you okay. get it, the surprise will come out on your channel. All right, all right, okay. Sounds, sounds good, sounds good. All right, okay. thank you. You're welcome. All right, bye. Let, let, bye, me, let bye, me know bye. where you get in. Let me know where you get in a DM. I, will, I, will, I wanna I see. Will, I will, I will. <laughs> all right, bye. You, bye. Thank you. Bye. That is great. It feels great whenever something like that happened. Earlier this season, I had a similar running with falls when she was looking for the altar. Unfortunately, she wasn't home at that point in time. But I just love, I just love that multiplayer aspect of Vault Hunters. It's, it's really quite fun. As for my new tools, I mean, my hammer is still old, but still golden. Olden, but golden. Look at this. I mean, who, what, what is there not to like? We just absolutely demolished. Well, maybe you will say these blocks is what's not to like, but check this out. My big lunchbox void backpack. I just put these in here once, and now when I break similar blocks, they will go straight in. Well, okay, I didn't break any of those, okay? Now, when I break similar blocks, they'll go straight in that backpack for the remainder of the vault. Good for me, good for you, good for everyone, and good for my storage system. My computer keeps getting richer with... Uh, seemingly random stuff. Stress monster survived. I hope she got something real good in that treasure room. And that reminds me, it's something I want to do soon as well. After Hubba. Look at this. There's so many ornates in this room. <laughs> wow. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, epic leggings. Oh! Oh dear! 
Where did all the time go? Uh, Pee wee. Well, this is bad. I completely zoned out. <laughs> I was just enjoying my new tools, which by the way, they are amazing. I'm so happy I did this. I, I, I love making tools in Vault Hunters. I've said that before. And it's amazing whenever you reach a new tier or a new reason to make new tools. I don't think I did very well though. I was, I was very laid back vaulting. Very calm, 153 chests. Zero trapped. No artifact. Ooh, two epics. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> 6% movement speed boots after I spent a very healthy amount of resources on the ones I made. Oh, but that is a potential shield upgrade. Oh, look at that. I need to try and discover the lucky hit chance for this, but until I do, that is a perfect roll of what I can get at the moment. And then... I don't even know what I want here. Durability, yep, that's fine. It's gonna last a lot longer. You know what? I like this scrappy looking sleeper shield of doom. 87% to 90% defense. That is a massive upgrade. Although my other one did have seven health. So <laughs> I don't have many hearts now, but that should be fine. I should take less damage as well. Oh, yes. That is, I mean, I lose even more hearts, <laughs> but 91% versus 90. So that's 1% more defense and more importantly, 3% more movement speed. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm doing a swap there with my new tools and all of this new gear. I feel great taking another level in Unbreakable. And with that, I feel ready. Which is good, because there's only there's only like one and a half hour remaining till we record the event. But for you, that will be in the next episode. Now, there's only one thing remaining. Hello. Oh, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like you can be a mumble. That's, this is great. <laughs> I wish it wasn't a Steve. Mumble. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, you're you're amazing, Mumble. Come on, uh, up up on my desk. Can you get up on my desk? Yes. Okay, stay there. Wax. Does that does that like fully freeze you? I think that is what fully freezes you. Just wax you in place. <laughs> Now that's gonna do it for today. I really hope that you have enjoyed this episode. I am beyond excited to troll the other hermits. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, full vault runs unedited are available on VODSCAL85. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next Haba Sode. Uh, do you got cobblestone by chance? <laughs> do I have cobblestone? Have you, uh, have you ever seen that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Do you need cobblestone for the crystalite though? Like 600 or so. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> nice. Done. The last one was like 600 cobblestone. This one's like down to 100 again. Yep. A lot of slime though. Do you have a slime farm? I do not. Oh. I have what what is called a centrifuge. A centrifuge. Oh, can you make slime balls in these? Mm-hmm. Ah, from magma balls. Magma balls. <laughs> so, you, so do you have a magma farm? I don't have a magma farm. Okay. You have what's but called I got a, a centrifuge. centrifuge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very complex, this girl. Yeah, yeah. It's too much too much too many machines for me, for my brain. To comprehend. Well while, while you're busy with your cupcake dispenser, some of us are doing real work and manually farming things out in the world. Yep, that's why you just needed cobblestone. That's right. <laughs> Shot yourself in the foot there, didn't we, though? <laughs> part, of, part of the job is just having the right connections in the world, you know? Oh, I see. <laughs> well, I, you know what? I know a man with a centrifuge. That's right. If you ever got some magma, that you need centrifuging, I'm, I'm your man. Yep.